What's going on guys? Um, I figured today I would do another program video and today I'm going to be doing it on two programs by the same publisher and I find myself very impressed with them. I actually do really like them. Um, I probably use them a lot more than I should or would want to, especially the program Who Crashed. Um, and that is because Who Crashed deals with blue screen errors and also known as the blue screen of death. So we'll be looking at this one first mainly because it is for a much more specific audience. Um, so what who, who Crash does is it checks for drivers which have been crashing on your computer. Boom, says it right there. So what happens is you'll hit Analyze. Please scroll down. It does it unbelievably fast, which I do like. Um, and so you go down where it says Crash Dump Analysis. And according to this, on Monday, December 31st, 2012, which was three days ago, I had a crash or my computer crashed and so what this is saying is it's probably caused by the following module NTOS kernel dot exe so what we can do is click on it and I'll probably bring up I hate how it opens up Windows Explorer but whatever NTOS kernel blue screen of death and it's very helpful because it literally opens up a bunch of help um, options with Internet Explorer so you don't have to go and Google it by yourself and it really does help and on the same day I must have been doing something um, I had ntkrnlmp.exe also crashed so we'll open that up and there we go and it has a bunch of help forms for me and we'll read the conclusion two crash dumps have been fa found and analyzed no offending third-party drivers have been found consider configuring your system to produce a full memory dump for better analysis okay so that is who crashed a very good program if you do suffer from blue screens and now we will go to sanity check which is also a really cool program. Um, it's almost like a quicker version of Malwarebytes or Norton or some other uh, virus scanner. This is not an antivirus. This is not a firewall. This just searches your computer. So don't, you know, go around deleting your Windows firewall because you know you have sanity to check on. Um, so let's analyze. Okay, so we just finished analyzing, took about 30 to 45 seconds. Let's see. Well, that's awkward. The exact same publisher just claimed that his own product was unknown. That's pretty ironic. Okay. The process hsswd.xex. I always say XEX, so, oh gee, tags, what have you done to me? EXE does not have a product, company, or description. So if you want to check on these, it gives you a file path, which is very good. Oh, of course, it's connected to Hotspot Shield, but... Okay, so what happens is now you have whatever it is that it doesn't um, trust or agree with, which, ironically, is a product made by the exact same publisher, and a program of, on my computer called Hotspot Shield. So you can, at least for this one, I don't know why it didn't work for this one, but you can go to your task manager using Control Shift Delete, I'll reopen it. I mean Control Shift Escape, excuse me. And you can find right here who crashed EX and that is the process that it's saying it doesn't trust. So if you really don't like it open, you can right click and end process, but only do this if you are 100% sure that it is not mandatory for your computer to run. Because if you accidentally do end a process that is necessary, you may end up shutting down your computer um, and a bunch of other things that probably you would not want. I mean, most of them won't let you um, end the process. I don't think WinLogon will let you but because that pretty much keeps your computer running. But yes, yeah, so... Now we can look and it says file path C program files x86 hotspot shield slash bin slash hsswd.xex. Exe. Good one. Okay, so let's go to computer. 
program files x86. Hotspot shield. Hotspot shield. Bin. And HSSWD right here. So according to this, this application has no author, no product, and no company. So it doesn't trust. It's not entirely sure if it's safe. Let's see. Irregularities have been detected on your system, which indicate your system is possibly compromised by malware. But it may also be that these are caused by a legitimate product. If you do not know what these files are about, if you do not know what these files are about, it is, is suggested that you locate the above-mentioned files and do a search of their file name with Google. This may help you find out whether the reported issues are the work of a legitimate product that you have installed deliberately or the work of a rootkit of other malware. It's got a few typos in it, but that's okay. Okay. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I haven't really explored expert mode too much because you have to run certain registry keys if you do that, and I really don't have the time or want to do that. So, yeah, that is Who Crashed and Sanity Check. If you guys liked this or if it helped you or if you hated it, I don't care. Just please leave a rating. Um, and, again, if you do enjoy these videos and they're helping you find some really cool programs that are out there that you didn't know about, please subscribe because they do come out often. Thanks.